Uh, my name is Mike Perry. We are here in Crown Heights, Brooklyn on Bergen Street in a building called Big Sue. It's great we have 1,800 square feet and I'm a little nervous because I really want a bigger space secretly and uh, I'm afraid I would fill that up with crap too, so uh, we'll see. So I look at myself as a maker. Um, I really try not to put any boundaries on the things that I'm working on. Today I'm making a, working on a book um, and next week I'm doing some illustrations and um, some note cards and some kind of more producty things. I love the idea and the possibilities of being able to make anything and I'm trying to define my life in a way that allows me to not be afraid of making anything. Making is just really natural to me. I don't really know if I have a choice. Uh, I kind of think about it as like vomiting sometimes. It's like it's just in there and it's got to come out and you have no choice. I really, really enjoy experimentation. I think it's, uh, it keeps me fresh and going and um, it actually, in a way, kind of alleviates some of the pressure of making things because if you're open to the accidents, the accidents can be really rich and exciting. Uh, and then it's not always like you have to nail exactly what you want. It can, it can be a kind of a more of a flowing based process. Um, and you just get, you get results that you can't predict. And, um, and, and in a way it's like this, it's, there's something really special about it because uh, it's kind of pure because I don't even know what it's gonna look like and it just happens. I'm going into my fifth year of working for myself. Um, and the first year was really big for me. It was crazy because it was such a different world than having a job. And I just made all these things and I felt really good about the whole year. So I had this notion of making a zine that basically was elements from the past that, that I did that I was really proud of that didn't necessarily end up going anywhere. You know, um, you know sometimes they end up on my website, but sometimes they don't and I want to do something with them. So I made this zine, and at the back, in the back of the zine it says, um, you know, this zine is meant to celebrate another year of making. And I've done four issues. Um, it's this kind of great annual report of the things that I've loved for the year. So I can go back and look and see kind of evolutions as the, as the issues kind of grow and change from year to year. And, you know, it's like, it's joke, I joke because it's like if I have a really good year, the zine will be deluxe. And if I have a crap year, then it's great. It can just be a bunch of pieces of paper stapled together, and it's not that big of a deal.